I will now talk about new case creation on the customer portal. Log on to the customer portal. You will have the ability to be able to create cases for accounts and entitlements that have been provided for you by your delegated admin. There is a separate video on delegated admins. So let's now create a new case. To create a new case, go to the grey ribbon bar and select New Case. You firstly need to select the case type for which you wish to choose. If you are wanting to create a technical issue for a specific product for which you have support, you would select technical issues. There are a number of other case types that you can use depending on the type of help that you need. Today we're going to cover technical issue. Once you select technical issue, the case type, you can then select the account for which the case you want to create to be associated with. The accounts you'll have be available will all be dependent on your delegated admin having provided you with access. Select the account for which you wish to create the case. Once you have the account and case type selected, there are some required fields. For technical issue, you need to select the product for which you wish the case to be raised. Let's select a product. You also have to select the type of entitlement. Here I'm going to select business support. If you are a premium customer or have flexible credits, you will see appropriate entitlements for those. You then can select the product platform and the version. Severity defaults to three medium and is a technical definition. If you hover over the eye, you can see details of the technical impact of the reported issue. We are going to leave this at three. Priority is for you to decide how important this is to your business. Similarly, we will leave that as medium. You then provide the description of the issue. When you move away from the subject, there will be an automatic search done of the knowledge base. This will use the context of the subject and the product to provide you with potential answers to your questions. This will appear in a pop-up box on your screen. You can choose to look at that or close it depending on if the information there is helpful or not. I'm going to move on to create a case. Once I have completed all the fields, I can now submit this case. And the case is successfully created. Once the case is created, you are presented with some information about that case. You will be provided with the case number and some details about it. All cases start in a status of new. There is a separate video on case management, which you can follow.